So this is the Multicultural uh, Belmont Pan Asian Coalition Lunar New Year Festival for 2023, which is uh, the year of the rabbit for many cultures, and it's actually also year of the cat for Vietnamese. So the Belmont Pan Asian Coalition was formed in 2021 in the spring in response to national and local anti-Asian incidents. The idea of the Belmont Pan Asian Coalition, which we call BPAC for short, is to, to bring together the various Asian communities in Belmont that haven't had really much representation so that we could have a larger voice in town so that we um, could have more of a seat at the table as far as town goings on, and that we could also increase the civic engagement of the Asian community in Belmont. Uh, the New Lunar New Year Festival is really part of that whole uh, mission. First of all, it's uh, giving us a little bit of greater visibility in town, um, and it's, it's also uh, a way of bringing our heritages to the mainstream in town, um, you know, bring it to, to Belmont Center where where everybody can enjoy the festivities and where people can, can go and feel like their own heritages are being celebrated by the town as a whole and not just in some corner in some room somewhere in Belmont. The Belmont Pan Asian Coalition is organizing the, the festival part of this in Belmont Center and that is going to involve a lion dance performed and donated by Tiger Crane Kung Fu which is the sister organization to Wu's Martial Arts. They're both part of the Grandmaster Winchell PC Wu Martial Arts Group. Um, and we're very grateful to them for donating their time. Um, and they, they did so last year too, we're very grateful for that. So we're super excited about that. Everybody always loves a line dance. In addition to that, there's going to be a Korean fan dance and a drum dance by Boston Korean Traditional Dance Group. They're a regional uh, group that has performed all over the Boston area. Uh, so we're super excited to have them. We also have a whole bunch of vendors, uh, you know, with all kinds of activities, including the, the BPAC tent with some activities uh, and uh, tasty treats as well from all over Asia and uh, uh, international tea buffet showcasing you know, teas from different parts of Asia. Uh, last year that was really popular, so we're bringing it back this year. And in addition to all this, uh, this event is really a collaboration with the Chinese American Heritage Foundation, which has uh, been organizing and coordinating a multi-city rolling motorcade, which starts in Chinatown and goes through uh, Cambridge, Malden, uh, Belmont, and uh, Quincy. Uh, I think I'm leaving out of town, but in, in any case, um, it's going through a whole bunch of towns, um, and it's, it's a pretty massive undertaking, line dances in, in every uh, town. Um, and we're, you know, we're just very happy to be able to coordinate with, uh, with them and with the other uh, involved towns. It's, it's a way of, uh, of uh, celebrating and also a way of bringing together the different Asian communities in different like to particularly thank the Belmont Cultural Council uh, and the Massachusetts Cultural Council for giving us a grant for this, uh, as well as Belmont Against Racism, which also gave us a grant particularly to cover the, uh, the food. So I wanted to also thank our gold sponsors, Cambridge Children's Dentistry, Zen Dental in Lexington, Greg Carter Hockey, and Cambridge Savings Bank. Uh, we had a whole bunch of other uh, silver sponsors uh, as well. You can find a list of our sponsors and also more information about the Belmont Pan Asian Coalition on our website, which is belmontpac.org. And you can also email us for more information at belmontpanasiancoalition@gmail.com. What's your name? Hi, my name is Iris from the Henry Frost Children's Program in Belmont. That's awesome. So tell me more about your organization. So we're a small preschool in town for children ages 2 to 5, and we're really excited to join the new Lunar New Year here in Belmont. 
and we have some kids activities set up and the most important part of our table today is we have a lion dance costume that fits children so if they're a little nervous to see the lion dance performance or it's their first time they can have the opportunity to try it on themselves first that is so cool i see you have some goodie bags and looks like a chopstick yeah, Chopstick's Station. Challenge to try things out. And we're just so excited that there's representation in town. We're really excited to be here and to welcome all the families. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you. Hi, so what's your name? Hi, my name is John Dune. Okay, so tell us about your organization that you're representing. So we are, uh, my wife Denise and I, we are the owners of uh, Sunrise Pediatric Dentistry. And so we opened about a year ago uh, here in Belmont on uh, Trapello Road. So what's going on at your stand? Okay, well, so we are so happy to um, have been invited, you know, to be part of this Pan-Asian um, festival. And uh, our stand, we just want to give some prizes, some toothbrushes away. Everyone could use toothbrushes. And also offer any, you know, information that uh, anyone can have questions about with keeping their oral health uh, in good shape. Yep. Remember to floss and brush your teeth. Yep. Brush and floss. <laughs> um, Thank you. What is your favorite part of Lunar New Year? Oh, you know what? I think it is the food. I think it's beautiful to share food and just to share a bit of our culture. Um, all different cultures, you know, in you know, Pan Asia. So getting the chance to do that um, in Belmont. That's definitely my favorite part as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi, so what's your name? Olivia. All right, and what are you, what organization are you representing here? Um, we're not really an organization, but we're selling handmade candy to support Belmont PDSO. Oh, that's awesome. So what's on the table? Um, they're called Nogats, and they're basically like milk candy with fruit and peanuts in them. And we also have cookies. That looks so good. All right, cool, thank you. All right, hi, so what's your name? My name's Tim Lavallee. I'm the Sifu of Wu's Martial Arts here in Belmont. That's so cool. So do you guys teach martial arts classes? I teach uh, Chinese Kung Fu and Tai Chi. That's so awesome. So what's here on the table? So essentially some t-shirts from the school, some Hongbao, which are lucky money that hopefully people were feeding the lions today. Uh, and if you're if you're good, you get these at, at Chinese New Year from your parents and your relatives, things like that. Um, a couple of swords from the from the class, and essentially just letting people know that we do traditional Chinese martial arts here in Belmont as well. That's pretty cool. Um, what ages are the classes for? Um, from four until ninety-four. Ooh. I've had students in their nineties doing Tai Chi. That's awesome. Can we see the swords? This is a classical Tai Chi sword. And this also, oh, there's Sifu Deb right here. This, this is a broadsword, or in Chinese, it's a knife, which is really kind of funny. It's kind of flexible. Yep, for, pre, for um, demonstrations, they use a flexible sword like that. That is so cool. Okay, last question. Yes. Do you have a favorite part of Lunar New Year? Lion dancing. That's a good one. Thank you so much. So we're here with Sifu, and she was in charge of that amazing lion dance we just saw. Well, I'm Sifu Deb Zion, and my school helps out uh, Wu's martial arts here. I'm I'm uh, Sifu Tim's kung fu sister, and we uh, our school is in the south, uh, south in Mansfield. So we came up to to show our support with Sifu Tim here, and brought our lions and my students up to do this dance, the lion dance, and and this is a great. This is our second year here, and this is a great, great you know, function here. This is, you know, love to support this one. You know. Thank you so much. It was so fun to see. Good. You guys Thank did amazing. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, so what are your names? Uh, my name's Ting Ting Ye. I'm Ming Zhen Shui. And what organization are you guys representing? Uh, we are representing Lexington Chinese School. I'm the director of a bilingual program. I'm uh, one of the parent representatives. That is awesome. So do you want to tell us a little bit about your Chinese school? Yeah, our Chinese school, we basically we are teaching uh, the traditional Chinese and we have a kindergarten uh, to up to ninth grade. 
and also bilingual, have a kindergarten up to eighth grade. How has your experience been at this festival? We're so excited to have everybody here. I know, it's very exciting. I haven't seen so many people here. Yeah. I have been uh, in Belmont. I think we have been in Belmont for a while, for almost 20 years or something like that. That's and, awesome. Yeah, so this actually, I think last year was the first time that I know this program and then, well, very exciting that you invite us back. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Um, okay, last question. You guys have a favorite part of Lunar New Year? General Lunar New Year? Yes. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I think the favorite part is the food. Is the food, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I you, like get together, you get together a lot of uh, traditional food with friends, families. Yeah, uh, I think that's the best part. And snacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And meeting up with everyone. Yeah. Just really nice. I'm excited that we're representing it here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hi, so what's your name? Hi, I'm Eve with Asian Task Force Against Domestic Violence. <laughs> you want to tell us a little bit about your organization? So we're the only agent, um, agency located in the state of Massachusetts ser serving the community of API domestic violence survivors. We've been around for 30 years and we have a shelter based in Boston. That is amazing. Um, how has your experience been at this festival? I love it. I'm actually a Belmont mom. I have oh, two yeah. kids. Um, just love it. I remember last year it was just well attended. I love seeing everyone coming together in a pan-Asian community. And yeah. I'm really excited we started doing this. Yeah. It's, I think it's just such a good event. Okay, um, last question. What is your favorite part of Lunar New Year? We're asking everybody this. Oh my gosh, I don't know. It, it, it's just getting everyone together. The colors, the beautiful, vibrant red everywhere. The light. Yeah. I don't know, just, it's beautiful. Just seeing everyone together after the pandemic, learning, um, just supporting each other. I, I, I don't know. I love, love that, I agree. I love, I love the festival. Thank you so much. Hi, we're here with Julie, the president of the Belmont Pan-Asian Committee. Hi. <laughs> um, talk to us about the festival. Uh, well, this is the second time we're having it, and we're really pleased. It was a really successful event. Um, we, uh, let's see, we had a Korean fan dance, we had a lion dance, we had lots of people, and uh, we're just really excited. The weather cooperated, and people came out, and we just had a wonderful time. So, It's you. been amazing. Thank you. William Brownsburger, Raptors, and also DA Ryan, and also our parade marshal, General. We like to, um, we affectionately know you as 
Woody Woodhouse. So thank you for being with us. We love celebrating you. Okay, well, greetings, everyone. Uh, be it hereby known as to all the it Massachusetts much, uh, House of Representatives oh, and the Massachusetts Senate offers its sincerest congratulations to Lieutenant Colonel Enoch Odell Woodhouse in recognition of your service as parade marshal and your decades long commitment to serving. And uh, Miss Chi Miss Chinese Boston, Angel also present them with uh, the fire department with a uh, Portuguese. Here we go. And uh, Esther will present her longtime friend Marion, the PA, with a. Uh, it's awesome having also Asian American representation in the media too. So I want to thank Michael Yoshida from Channel Seven for being here with us. And this event is really all about showing our gratitude to our first response. So thank you to our firefighters and police, and also our officials for being here as well. Thank you. Thank you everybody for coming. 